Hi you guys, it's Sally with the Million Salon. I want to talk to you all about hair loss today. I'm always talking about hair loss, but hair in general. But um, this particular hair loss is going to be postpartum alopecia. Um, I had a couple of clients, well more than a couple, I had several clients last year to give birth to babies, healthy babies, um, and uh, probably maybe one of them did not experience any hair loss, but all the rest of them, they did. One of my clients called it the cat ears, and um, I found that a little hilarious that she called it cat ears. Uh, because it looked just like cat ears. And it came out in the temporal area, right up in here, and it came back. Um, so one of my other clients, she had uh, all over hair loss. Her hair loss was so significant that um, it shed it throughout her entire head. And um, we're still experiencing a little bit of shedding. So I wanna take a time out to show you all, or take the time out, and show you guys um, that what it looks like in one day of hair loss uh, versus um, three weeks. So uh, three weeks of hair loss would be, this is actually my hair, you guys. So I did not shampoo my hair for three weeks um, a couple of weeks ago. And um, I was just lazy and tired, to be honest. And um, I saved my hair just to show you all that this is what, ooh, this is what three weeks of hair loss would look like. So if you guys could see that, this is about three weeks of hair loss. Um, normally you're supposed to shed at least 50 to 100 strands per day. Uh, that's that's what they're saying. Some people do not lose that much hair. Some people lose a little bit more hair. It depends on what's going on with their bodies and what they're ingesting, what they're eating. Okay. And just drinking water is not going to stop your hair loss. It's not going to just make your hair grow either. So you need nutrients. Okay. So I'm about to go into this bag right here. And this bag is the client who lost the hair in one day. So she asked, was I going to save the hair? And I told her, yes, I was going to save it. Um, and I was going to show it to you all. Um, it's very interesting. So this, if you guys can see that, let me kind of move out of the way if I can. If I can. Um, this is going to be one day of hair loss and that is postpartum alopecia so when does this take place when does this um hair loss take place this hair loss is going to start taking place from a little bit three to four months after the mother has given birth every woman once again does not go through this so what happens is the female once the, the very moment that she gets pregnant, it shocks her body. So when it shocks our bodies, it sends our, it, it sends our body or excuse me, not our body, our hair. It sends our, um, the, the growth phases of our hair into shock. So it shocks it to tell it to continuously to grow hair but it doesn't shed hair. If it sheds hair, it's very minimal hair. It's not a whole lot of hair. So the very instant where the HCG levels, the hormone levels, they increase a whole lot. So the moment that she gives birth, what happens again? She's shocked. Or the, the growth phases once again is shocked because you're decreasing such a dramatic uh, number. Just, I mean, just like that. So when you do that, um, it now sends the hair into the telogen phase. So you have your antigen, which is your growth phase. Uh, this little chart I have right here is kind of tiny. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, but anyway, this is the antigen phase right here. Uh, okay, yeah. The antigen phase, then you have your catagen phase, and then you have the telogen phase. 
So your catagen phase is going to be more of your resting phase. And the telogen phase, well, the catagen phase can last um, anywhere between uh, one to two weeks. The telogen phase is going to last anywhere between five to six weeks. Um, the antigen phase is going to last about probably anywhere from anywhere, excuse me, from two to eight years. The follicle itself is just like that pregnant mother. Okay. So once labor starts, there is no stopping it, right? Unless there's some doctor that says, okay, well, I can give you something and we're still early. We can kind of slow the labor down. Okay. In this case, you can't slow the follicle down from doing what it's about to do. So once the mother is in labor, the baby is getting ready to push out of the uterus. Okay. Out of the birth canal. All right. The same thing with this hair strand. This hair strand and the follicle, the follicle is just like a pregnant woman, just to, once again. And that hair strand itself is a baby. And you get, I don't know how many babies in a lifetime in this follicle, but it's just like a baby. So once that follicle starts to contract, because it does contract just like a uterus, it contracts and it pushes the strand out. Once you start, or once that follicle start to do that, there is no way to stop it or slow it down. It's going to push it out. So whatever hair is due to shed out or shed off, there's no stopping it. We can give you protein treatments. We can give you um, any type of deep, deep conditioning treatments. We can do anything possible, but there's no stopping it. Just And, and it's just like... Um, the other thing is you can't put the baby back into the, the uterus, correct? And then you get ready to cut the cord. You can't put the baby back. Um, well, technically there was a uh, surgery just recently done to where as a man performed a surgery on the baby and put the baby back into the uterus. Google that one. Look it up. Um, it's a true story. So um, that happened. But in this case, this is not going to happen. That's not going to happen with those... Um, with those follicles in the hair strand. So um, I pretty much tell clients to either breastfeed because it still is not saying that the person is, um, that you're pregnant or anything like that. You're lactating, of course, um, but it gives you so many hormones to it. It kind of slows the, it kind of slows it down because it's still acting as if not the body is pregnant, but it's producing something else. So it kind of slows it down just a little bit. It's still going to happen. It's still going to happen. And I tell my other clients to um, also uh, to continue to take a prenatal as long as they possibly can. So some clients, they decide not to take a prenatal or they just decide to just not breastfeed at all or they don't produce enough milk. Um, that's an unfortunate thing sometimes. So, yeah, um, I typically tell them to you know just eat a healthy diet eat a healthy diet if they're um, not going to breastfeed they're not going to do the um the prenatals anymore and then they go back to birth control now that's another thing ladies when you go back to the birth control because you don't want any more babies or uh there's an issue with the cycle so if you decide to go back to the birth control Understand what the birth control is doing. The birth control itself is not really regulating your hormones. It is regulating your cycle. It's restarting your cycle. It's getting your cycle to a point to where it's supposed to um, be controlled. All right. Um, you get on these and most of the, the birth controls that are out there, they uh, have hair loss in them. They cause hair loss. So the birth control pills that are that are out there that cause hair loss, um, number one is Mirena. Um, the IUDs, um, the, uh, some of them make you gain weight. Orthotricycline, that one's good. And that's been around since I was a teenager, since I was a young girl. When I had to go on them, that's what, basically what I would use. And I would ask the doctors, can they put me on that? Because it does great with the skin. It's very low progesterone. It's not something that's really, really high in um, progesterone. So, um, yeah. 
uh, if you decide to go back on um, your birth control, make sure that the birth control does not uh, cause hair loss. If it does cause hair loss, you may want to change your birth control. Um, tubal ligations. Um, I try to tell clients not to do that either. Is anything that we do to our bodies, it pretty much anything, ba having babies, uh, tubes tying, um, the the fibroids, anything that bothers our hormones, anything is going to cause hair loss. So that's even with thyroids, it's going to cause hair loss. So you have to be very, very careful with your body. Take very good care of your bodies. You don't want to cause any premature hair loss. Once again, with the babies, I understand that. Oh, and it also takes approximately up to a year um, for the, the, um, the hair loss to stop and the hair will start growing back. Uh, the mother should start seeing hair grow back within um, probably right at 10, 11 months of the baby being, after the baby has been born. Um, you would stop, you would start seeing a little bit of uh, hair growing back. It takes a while for the hair to start growing back. And remember, the hair that you've shed is going to be short coming back in. So the other hair is going to be really long. So you're going to look at it and say, well, um, I think my hair is broken off right here. No, your hair isn't broken off. It's that new hair that's growing in that's short. And it's, gotta, it's not going to catch it with the other hair. You're going to have to kind of trim it up, you know, and keep it cut until that hair does um, reach, reach the maximum length that it's supposed to be at. Okay, so um, I think that is all I wanted to talk about with um, postpartum alopecia. Once again, this is going to be um, three weeks of hair loss compared to one day of hair loss. So um, ladies, you are supposed to shed some hair. Don't say I'm not supposed to shed hair. My hair, um, I, I lost some hair and I, it's natural. Now, if you shed hair like this and you're not pregnant and you have not had a sewing in your head, this will be a problem. This is an indication that something else is going on inside of the body. It could be cancer. It could be lupus. It could be anything. So you do not want to um, have this amount of hair loss. And if there's no problems, if there's no problems with your body, you might want to go get this checked out. Okay. All right. So that's my time with you guys. If you have any comments, please feel free to comment below and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Thank you for watching. Bye.